Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and another volume of my Central Film Reviews collection. Thanks for being there. Now remember girls, whatever happens, keep your eyes closed. With opening titles in Thai and complemented by English subtitles, this latest noir-tinged revenge thriller from Nicholas Winding Refn immediately begins with Julian, Ryan Gosling, pensively staring straight ahead while shrouded in shadows and the colour palette of red is firmly established in the film's opening scenes. We cut to a Muay Thai boxing match in a club he owns and runs and the colour palette of red is again a dominating theme, from the large boxing club motif behind the ring to the winning boxer's gloves and shorts, through to the shirts of two unnamed patrons of the club standing at ringside. But the scene is soaked in the colour red, with shards of reddish light adding to the overall and eye-catching red tone. A small package is surreptitiously passed hand to hand between patrons as another Muay Thai boxing match begins. We cut to Billy, Tom Burke, in a backstage dressing room clad in a red shirt, paying the victorious boxer with a deadpan, now don't spend it all in one place. Both Billy and Julian are in the dressing room and both are shrouded in shadows, with Julian, his back to the wall and still staring passively and pensively ahead. Fate to black. Billy leaves the club and walks across neon lit streets before entering a local whorehouse and requesting a repugnant and repulsive desire. Frustrated at the response from the manager and dragged away from the intercom between himself and the young girls behind the glass, he violently smashes a bottle over the head of the manager and enters the room housing the young girls before violently attacking a random girl. Bloodied and bruised, the scene ends with Billy staring at another young prostitute sitting by the side of the road. We cut now to Julian staring thoughtfully at his hands and making a fist, all deliberately pensive and slowly before turning off the lights of his now empty club, the red boxing club motif predominant again in a room bathed in red as the lights are dimmed. Slowly and deliberately, Lieutenant Chang walks to the roadside where we last saw Billy and he enters the building behind and into a blood-soaked room. He pans around the room to see the bloodied corpse of a young girl lying on the floor. The camera slowly pans from an unmoved Chang staring passively at Billy, turning to face Chang, his face spattered with blood following the violent murder of the young girl. No words are exchanged. An older man is shown into the room and Chang asks, why did you let this happen? Before he retreats from the room after giving the older man free reign to wreak revenge on the murderer, which he does, framed in shadows behind the closed door. Come with me, orders Chang, as the scene and the opening 12 minutes reaches its climax. Lit only by a spotlight and the headlamps of the police car, the older man, his shirt now spattered in red blood, is on his knees pleading for his life and confessing to the anger and rage at the murder of his daughter. Chang slowly approaches the older man, explaining why he's going to do what he's about to do, before drawing a samurai sword from behind his back and striking the man off camera. The scene ends with Chang staring impassively at the camera. This 90-minute bloody revenge thriller is often brutally violent and shocking, whilst weaving intricate character narratives through a web of drugs, criminality and familial dominance. The violence alluded to above is only a forerunner to some brutally violent scenes and very much a theme of director Refin's preponderance for fetishistic and graphic violence. However, and very bizarrely, these are often juxtaposed against Chang singing upbeat yet mournful songs on stage in a Bangkok club. Make of that what you will. There are numerous other intriguing themes running throughout the film, with the red colour palette being an obvious metaphor for blood and revenge. The film is quite literally dripping in this palette, with numerous scenes resplendent in red, striking in many scenes, a little more subtle in others. The film moves very much at its own pace, 
with characters moving slowly and deliberately. There are slow motion captured segments of a scene, but surprisingly very little. The rest of the characters themselves, particularly Julian and Chang, who move quietly, pensively and reflectively. Along with the colour palette, shadows are dominant and perhaps yet another metaphor for revenge as our characters stalk from within the shadows. And returning director of photography Larry Smith deserves immense credit for blending all of these together. They are obvious themes but no less striking. The film is both stylish and stylized, with rigorous attention to detail in every shot. One third of theme is the tailing off of conversations or disguising with music under the supervision of regular collaborator Cliff Martinez. In a film dominated by male testosterone and stylized bloody revenge, it is Kristen Scott Thomas who produces a performance of sheer will and intensity as family matriarch and uber dominant Crystal. Arriving in Bangkok to retrieve the body of her first born son, the perma smoking head of the family exudes superiority over everyone and no one dares challenge her authority. Highly sexual, there are incestuous undertones to her reunion with Julian, but her dominance pours out in every scene, from her arrival at the hotel to her reunion with her son, and her enjoyment at a male bodybuilding show at a local club. But her utter dismissal of both Julian and May at an evening meal encapsulates her brilliantly and showcases a wonderful performance from Kristen Scott Thomas. Utterly dismissive of May, how many cocks can you entertain in that cum dumpster of yours? She turns her attention to her son, berating and embarrassing him by proclaiming, Billy was everything Julian wanted to be. Violent, bloody, brutal and stylized to within an inch of its life. Yep, it's the latest from Nicholas Winding Refin. And that was only God forgives. And I'll leave you in peace. Man in solidarity. And I thank you so much for watching. Please be careful out there everyone. Peace.